Hi, I'm Josh McGrath. I'm the Soil Management Extension Specialist at the University of Kentucky here in Lexington. In this presentation, I'm going to be talking about one of the four steps of soil testing, soil test correlation. So this comes down to interpreting the soil test results. We've collected the sample, we've sent it off to the lab for analysis, and now we're going to have some correlation data that helps us interpret that lab result and make a recommendation. So when we interpret soil chemical analysis, there's this kind of understanding that, that there's increasing availability of nutrients. There's not just the threshold above which nutrients are available and below which they're not available. No, instead, we kind of have this gradient of availability and different tests get different slices of that. And we talked about that in the chemical analysis uh, uh, presentation. But what we wanted to know with correlation or the question that we're asking is, does the plant need added nutrients? Does it need fertilizer or is the soil going to supply enough to get maximum yield? And so we think back to an earlier presentation where we talked about plant nutrient status. We want that plant to be sufficient in whatever nutrient we're soil testing for. And that's based on nutrient concentration in the tissue and plant performance. But now we're a step removed from that and we're using a soil concentration of that nutrient to predict what the tissue nutrient concentration would be. And in fact, we're not even predicting the tissue nutrient concentration. We're predicting that plant performance, that yield that was on that vertical axis. Now we're looking at soil test versus yield performance with and without fertilizer. What soil concentration allows that plant to be sufficient in the nutrient? So when we do correlation research, we really only need two things. We need a zero rate and a rate that is sufficient in fertilizer. So let's think about phosphorus for a second. I could go out to a bunch of different fields on the horizontal axis here with different soil phosphorus concentrations or soil test levels. And I have two plots side by plot side that I replicate across that field. And one plot has no phosphorus fertilizer and the other plot has a sufficient rate, maybe 150 pounds per acre of P205. And then I can compare the yield I get from those two rates with relative yield. So I take the unfertilized yield and divide it by the fertilized yield. So for example, if I got 200 bushels per acre of corn with phosphorus fertilizer and that check plot next to it got 100 bushels per acre of corn, then my relative yield is 0.5 or 50% relative yield. And all I'm trying to do is find that critical concentration in the soil above which I don't get response to fertilizer and below which I do get response to fertilizer. So in summary, soil test correlation is pretty simply just finding out at what soil test concentration I need to fertilize. Below that critical concentration, I need fertilizer. Above it, I don't. So the, the climate in a region, the soil type or texture, uh, the crop being grown, crop management strategies can all affect what this critical range is. Different crops at, at the same soil test may need fertilizer or, or not need fertilizer. Soil testing is just one part of making that fertilizer recommendation. Uh, the crop fertilizer needs are dependent on a lot of production factors.